How are we going to handle that? Yeah. We're just going to yell satire over and over and occasionally go, ah. Welcome back. It's like I never left. Yeah. We, uh, we're going to talk to this, this very helpful doorman again. Um, but he doesn't have any information. I'm amazed that no one gets annoyed at you for just saying, excuse me, never mind. Yeah. You might think, like, it would be... Kind of obnoxious. Whoa, so at this point, speed demon. Yeah, at this point, I, uh, I elected to speed up the you know the walking like, animation speed of the game because I had gone through this section multiple times and was tired of playing it over again. <laughs> Which, it's not uh, how you do this editing thing, you know. You're supposed <laughs> to like actually like, do it in like th two takes and like combine the parts that matter. No, it 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 wouldn't have been salvageable the way that it was. Like it, it would have been this anyway, um, mostly. Um, <laughs> so what we need to actually do at the moment is uh, Anita was killed, so we need to go to where Anita was killed. Oh my which, gosh! Which they they were talking the, like Japanese karate film people. She's been killed, yeah. Oh yeah, the, the increased um, game speed results in increased animation speed as well, which makes the conversations absolutely hilarious. <laughs> yeah. The testing room. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna figure out that Lamb is even worse than he's already, you know shown himself to be <laughs> he doesn't care about his employees at all of course well we, to be fair did you ever suspect he did no no not really it was very I would have expected nothing less from the murderer of the last Why beavers oh 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 very uh -oh. so this this is a very silly <laughs> <gasps> the sweater <laughs> his, it's his, adorable his sweater yes we're going to see it once more. Um, the only times in the entire game that we we see his his sweater that was mentioned by Potts very early on. The power in those things gives me the willies. If it wasn't for the heat shield, I'd be frazzled. They really frazzled. should have had him just going around in that sweater the whole time. Minus the security well, the overcoat is, is so cool, though. Right? Mm-hmm. Um... So yeah, uh, Anita's ID card was on the floor of the reactor because. Gee, I wonder where she not? can go in the uh, cyberspace. Yes, that's exactly what we're going to use it for. I to, actually uh, forgot about that. It just it just occurred to me right now. Yep, we we have a second ID card, which means we can use it to access link terminals and uh, and the the link interface in the security headquarters. Excellent. Which is which is entirely what we're about to go do, as well, because we can just use the. Actually, at this part, I I had forgotten that you could just use Reich's ID card for the elevator. So I was I had spent some time wandering around, going back to like the grappling hook area. Should have tried using Anita's card and watched the security guards freak out. Yeah, I didn't actually think to do that. Aww. Whoa. So we have. Uh, we have new processes as Anita's ID card, which let us get into new areas of the cyberspace because we can blind those eyes now. Perfect. And of course, they are time sensitive, which means that the increased speed of the game ruined me trying to get through that. Uh, so you're <laughs> that gonna door. try it again. You're gonna try it again right away. Yes, uh, without changing increased... the game speed. Oh come. <laughs> no, no, it's 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 gonna slow down a little bit. It's okay. A touch, <laughs> just enough to get through the door. Um, but we have a, a crusader here who won't let us through the right path, so we have to go up. Religiously uh, uh, defend the Protect. configurations. Yes. yes, we can't uh, we can't do anything with him. So we're gonna get some more exposition. A park. Hmm. 
I wonder who that could be. It's one, of the, it's one of the two characters who uh, does not have a name at the at ground level right now. Um, so we can't grab that tuning fork yet. We have to blind the eyeball, and you can't blind the eyeball from the platform that the tuning fork is on. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, so you have to go all the way back, which means that you're going to have to blind that eyeball again as well. Uh, fortunately, this one this, stay blind? Yes, yeah, so this one stays blind for much longer. Uh, it doesn't stay blind permanently, so it is a time-sensitive puzzle, but it's uh, far more lenient than that second eye. Perfect. And uh, we don't actually use the tuning fork for anything yet, either. Why we have it? <laughs> because it's an adventure game and we're going to need it at some point. I figured it might have been something to use with the, the Link terminals, uh, but no, it's it's not. Okay, then. So we're just going to see that Anita has no money or anything. Because she was a D-Link. to. And then I forgot that this was an, event, an old adventure game, which means that you don't click on things and automatically interact with them. <laughs> You'll get used to it as you delve into my world. <laughs> uh, no. Because I'm not going to play very many more. <laughs> it's an unintuitive place. Where things only do what they're told when you tell them to. You have to be very specific about what you want uh, want done. And of course, we we can't use Anita's uh, ID card to get through the elevators either. It doesn't work. So we're going to talk to Ed Eduardo now. Who's obviously not Vincent. Find the old subway. Nah, I've never heard but we wanted to get information about the, the subways yeah, and whatnot. What planet are you on? Because we uh, we haven't seen any subways no. yet. Oh, Excuse what's me. All that information. What's your name? It's yeah. Eduardo. Why? You're Anita's contact, right? So this is a, Eduardo. And uh <laughs> You know, he didn't care that we told him she had died. Uh, He's probably just in a panic for the last hour or so. I don't know. Like, he doesn't seem to have any sort of emotional reaction at all. Um, well, he's an Aussie, right? <laughs> Top I'm not sure if that's offensive that's, or not. That's not even top. That was just me stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's been downloaded to Link Space. That sounds so fake. <laughs> downloaded. The, yeah. So it's downloaded to Link Space. Um, but it's actually not downloaded to a section that we can reach yet. Uh, which confused me. Um, when I was first going through this. Uh. Is a tuning fork the virus? No. It's not. And here's how we open that door. An old trick, but it still works. Yeah, we, we slide enough. a credit we sl we slide a credit card through the lock. I've have done that before and gotten a lot of trouble at school. <laughs> um so there's one item in this room that we need and it's the very obvious red pliers and or, or cutters or wire cutters, I guess. The old subway stations. Because the the uh, the entryway into the actual subway from this station has been bricked off. To Link. Of course, the map is painted on a big sheet of metal, not the sort of map you'd fold and put in your pocket. <sighs> what what's wrong, Rob? You can't fold metal. Jeez, he needs to. You, well, you, you do think... need a metal folder, to be fair. Why did I waste? Well, you would think with how like buff he is, <laughs> he'd be able to do it. Be but yeah, I, I did. I liked. I liked that, that particular, pointing out how silly it was to go down and and try to use the brick wall. He knows the the adventure gamer is totally just trying everything right now. Oh yeah, and is mocking. And him. uh, and suddenly an open door. Well, gee, this isn't ominous. No, I wonder what could possibly be inside of that open door. 
Silence in court. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Department of Justice Inc. Oh Judge yes. Chutney presiding. Judge Chutney? Is now in session. <laughs> I will be, I'm now just imagining a blob of jam just yeah. doing the uh, court proceedings. It would probably be as uh, as. If ever I saw one. Uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The it would probably do just as good a job as he does. Silence to be fair. When you speak to me. Satire. <laughs> now, who is the first? Like he's he's running it like it's a uh, yeah like it's a uh, a game show. <laughs> but this is where we see Hobbins again because he's been he's been gone since after we got out of the, uh, the the opening area of the game. Like if you go back into that whole first kind of factory area, he's not there anymore. And assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. And now, what so I thought that this was kind of referring to something that we have done throughout the game. That's what I'm thinking. But, but I, I don't actually remember like doing anything that would have resulted in what uh, happens to, or what what allegedly happened to Officer Blunt. Yeah, not Blunt, because you know we, they didn't even notice Reich sodden half in his basement. Yeah, it's a uh, like like I fig I figured that this. Would have been referencing things like actions that we've done because we've inconvenienced the security guards fairly. Uh, there's no, there's no dialogue for that line. Hobbins just said. <laughs> and like, can we just shrug? Okay. Yeah, we've we've done a lot of things that have inconvenienced the security guards throughout this game, but the actual events that they bring up don't really seem to be anything that we have done, which kind of confused me. And he has a very exaggerated accent. That's him in the overalls. Overalls. I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cat? They're so incompetent. We haven't heard the defense, my lord. Sounds you speak to me? Oh, okay. Just don't take all day. So we can... I didn't actually bother to test out what would happen if we didn't ask any questions. Uh, do you recall what happens if you do that? I don't. I just remember Hobbins getting a uh, reduced sentence. Yeah. Well, that's what ends up happening. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if there's any way to get different um, verdicts. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points. <laughs> Is this occurring? Is this real yeah. life? He's, he's, he's totally treating it like a game show. It was Daniel Piermont. What was Mrs. Piermont's This is another thing, like... Cruelty to her pet dog. Like, this is another mm. reason why... Yeah, this is another reason why I got the impression that it was referring to things that we've done. Um, because we have been, you examine the dog? Yeah, you know, well, we've been pretty to. mean to that dog, and all things considered. Bit me. But it's like, it's, no, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's completely years. unrelated. I got very wet, but you didn't suffer and, any... Oh yes, my like, gosh, they're accusing Hobbins of throwing the dog in the water, and the official not, assault is that he got cold? Not even. Like they're not they're not even accusing Hobbins of being the one who threw threw the dog in the water. Satire? Like yeah, they're saying that they're saying that Blunt had like water dumped on him from above, which was it wasn't anything that we did. <laughs> Holy cow! That's a few hundred feet. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, this, like, this entire section just seems like a complete non-sequitur compared to the rest of the game. But it's worth it because you get to see Miss Piermont. With her very unique, uh, theme song for 
just long enough for her to come in and give that line. And then... <laughs> and then the, the, the song goes back to normal. What was your complaint against Hobbins? He was my little poochie poo. Disgraceful. I haven't had a dog abuse case since the infamous Spaniel Mangle scandal. Is that a Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> reference? This was way before that. The alleged attack? I, uh, Shh, I know. Not exactly. I did think it was some sort of reference, but again, it's nothing that I understand. Officer Blunt reports yeah. the incident to me. Hold on, is this the infamous Wikipedia self-referential <laughs> problem? <laughs> it could be. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Greaves. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. <sighs> God, that capitalization. This this judge has. He's got some of like the the simultaneously best and worst lines in the entire game. <laughs> Like somehow they manage to be both the best and worst at the same time, and it's 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 pretty remarkable. Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him, but one takes little notice of mere maintenance. Oh, burn! Oh, no further questions. Yeah, Ouch. what an insult to Hobbins' like to question honor. The defendant. <laughs> Here's your starter for ten. Because obviously. With, with a like at this point, I obviously knew with the judge we didn't want to open with. Did you assault Officer Blunt? <laughs> oh gosh! Yeah, exa exactly. <laughs> it's like oh, you're winning, uh, bro. You're winning. Yeah. So it was like when when he said that, I was like, am I actually trying to get more points than? The, question has the, the other guy, or I don't. What? I don't think there's any way to like quotation marks win or lose. Does that matter? Like you don't actually like. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't. You know, Mrs. Piermont. Like again, this whole thing just seems like it's a a completely self-contained section of the game. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the boot. That's an indication of, of uh, <laughs> where this is, has been developed as well. They spell Hobbins honor a with a U. And man. I feel this is a satire, but I'm not sure what it's satirizing. I recommend <sighs> the maximum possible sentence. Any comment like the, from the defense? It could probably be used as happening. a reference point for... Madness. For many things now, but back in 1994, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it, defense, you ruined it. Yeah, yeah. But it's okay. We uh, we won the star prize. And that is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't. <laughs> oh. Um... Oh. That's, uh, However, it's not much of a prize. In view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Yep. Only two, five uh, years prison? Hours no. Service. Two hours community service. Two hours of doing his job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, uh... Okay. That happy then, ending. Yeah, then we just leave and the door closes. It's like, okay. I, okay. uh... Bonus yeah. points for Sudden Madness. I had to collect myself for a moment there because it was just so... So sudden and random. Like, I did not... Hmm. Understand. Is there a subway yeah. around here? But you might what? notice now that we're, we're back in this uh, club. <laughs> Hear that, Gallagher? This guy's a train spotter. <sighs> There's no law against yeah. that. Only because there aren't any trains. <laughs> That's the only reason why. Yeah, I get like satire. Excuse me. Yeah, there's a lot of things that might be satire, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but you might notice that the band is not playing now. The club was named after the station. So, 
What do you Where think we have to do? You stand in it. See the area in front of the stage. Oh, and we also get the information that this right used to be a, a subway station. Well, there you go. So, so Babs Excuse did me. give us some sort of information. So she did have a use. Excellent. Anita Sarkeesian will be pleased. <laughs> uh, but Anita was already killed. <laughs> Oh god, this game. Hey, music lover. If you're looking for the best yes, sound, this jukebox is it. going to talk us up. The music of the spheres right here on Earth. So come on, get your fingers on my button. Please don't. <laughs> music together. But it's, it's a saucy jukebox. How offensive. <laughs> Why they put voices in these machines yeah. beyond me. Yeah. I, I'm on... <laughs> I'm on Team Shut Robert. Let me check this <laughs> oh Lord, it's mostly country and western. Satire. Uh, <laughs> there are three I don't like country the either. Band. So, what's your chance, Now, big boy? I uh, I happened to stumble into. I like how it's a male voice. Search, but yeah. Find nothing. I happened to stumble into the correct answer to this puzzle. Uh, you get the three options from the jukebox. You have to pick you search but find nothing, as far as I'm aware. Um, because at a certain point in the song, it's it hitches and starts repeating. And that's when Colston there will get out of his seat to go change the jukebox. And you nab the greasy wine glass. Yes. And of course... The reason I picked you search what, but find nothing was because it was the one that was an obvious like adventure gameism. And there he goes. And now we have a glass. Good job. There we go. And, Greasy uh, fingerprints. I know yeah. what you do with these, and it's terrible. <laughs> so I, I yeah, I spend a little time trying to mash items together again. Um and then, at, at first, I figure maybe I'll try using the glass on the metal plate <laughs> by itself. Uh, That's like how maybe it works, the, right? Yeah, may, maybe the fingerprints are put in, you know, un, like, they're, they're greasy it's enough soft. to work with the plate. But no, mm -hmm. no, it, it's, it's not. Ah, oh, if only you knew a plastic surgeon. Shh. Why Shh. shush? You're going off to do that right now, aren't you? In the beginning of the next video. Oh, oh look, the video's <laughs> over. <laughs> it, it it will be very very shortly. Just as soon as we uh we put in a, a relevant uh, save game name and put Rob in the same spot that he was in when we started the video. Because of course we did. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Ew.